Hey everyone, it's Andrew from Gemba Red, and today we're going to take a look at some portable red light therapy options and introduce to you our Gemba Red Spacer, uh, ultra thin, ultra lightweight, um, portable handheld red light therapy panel. Um, but before we get there, we're going to talk about uh, some of the benefits of having a portable light, whether it's a more of a flashlight type or a torch um, or having a mini panel. Um, there's a lot of similarities between these two because, because, you know, most of the time these are run off of a battery uh, that's, you know, that's built in. Um, re usually you can get them now with the rechargeable lithium batteries. That's what uh, these all have. And, uh, you know, the nice thing about when it's battery powered, um, it's super low EMF, practically none, and it's super low flicker because both, both of those things are affected by your AC current from your walls your alternating current, you know, usually at 60 hertz in the USA, that current is what's causing, you know, those electric fields and those magnetic fields that, um, you know, we have to convert to DC in our panels. Um, but with a battery powered light, the battery is already DC powered. So it's already the ideal kind of power source for an LED because it can be just constant current, just stays on all the time. Um, that's what LEDs like best, just, you know, nice kind of just constant kind of setup. Um, with our, you know, with the kind of a flashlight like this, it's just a regular kind of tactical flashlight. It's red. I emailed a supplier in Alibaba and it just said, hey, can you, you know, make me a flashlight that's 660 nanometers? I just wanted to make sure it was, it was the right wavelength. Um, you can get red flashlights on Amazon or eBay, you know, a lot cheaper, a lot easier, maybe 10 bucks, uh, maybe even, you know, a little more or less. Um, but then you don't know the wavelength, it might be 630 nanometers, it might be 660. Um, but both of those are, are reasonable, those, both of those could, could be good for red light therapy, so you can't really go wrong. Uh, you can even look for tactical flashlights that are 850 nanometers, that are invisible near infrared. Uh, they use them for hunting, so look for hunting flashlights or tactical flashlights. Uh, that are 850 nanometer because they use them uh, with kind of like camera systems and night vision. I don't know. Um, so you could get that and if you really want a near infrared torch um, to travel and whatnot. So, you know, these are great because you don't have to worry about flicker. You don't have to worry about EMF. You can travel with them. Uh, use them obviously for more targeted purposes. Uh, each of these, you know, I would probably just target a point for couple minutes at a time and if you want to get more coverage you do three minutes here three minutes here three minutes here and just kind of kind of cover the area that you want in a reasonable amount of time uh, the last great thing about uh, a lot of these portable options is that I use them right up on the skin especially because they're EMF safe um, you don't have to worry about that you don't have to have that six inches distance away that everyone says oh you got to be six inches away from their panels well, why do you have to be six inches away? Because they have high EMFs and the EMFs drop off with distance. Um, but then you lose out on a lot of the penetration, a lot of the intensity actually passing through your skin because your skin is blocking it. You can see the reflection of the light off my skin. It's a natural phenomenon. And, uh, you know, it's to protect us from too much light exposure from the sun or, or whatnot. Um, so, you know, you can see they got a lot of reflection and then if you press it on the skin, it forces all that light into the skin. It's got nowhere else to go because it's probably just going to reflect off the internal ref reflector in the flashlight and just kind of force its way in. So you can see, you know, usually in darkness, you can see much better penetration through kind of the hand and get that nice kind of visual acknowledgement that you're actually getting that penetration. You know, normally if you're standing six inches away, from a big panel, you know, you might not see that kind of penetration. You only get it with the skin contact. And, you know, I've got a whole blog post about this, you know, all the clinical studies, uh, most of them, I'd say a big chunk of them are using skin contact with their, with their devices, with their lasers, with their LEDs. So you have to keep that context in mind. And a lot of times that context is ignored when, you know, these panel companies are telling you, oh, buy our light, it's the best, it's the brightest, it's, it's this or that. They don't talk about the skin contact issue where you're losing a lot of uh, the effective penetration. Um, 
So this is, you know, again, you can just search for tactical flashlights, super easy to find. Uh, this is a new one, uh, relatively new on the market. This has three wavelengths built into it, uh, and this is made by Kinreen on Alibaba, so uh, K-I-N-R-E-E-N. -E -E I'll put a link down uh, below for, for this video. Um, so they build in three, three different diodes. You can see them uh, while it's off. Three different diodes, one 630, one 660, and one 850. So you get all three wavelengths in one little, little area. It's got a similar battery as uh, this one, but now you're powering three diodes. So you could get a little bit more power out of this one than you would with the tactical flashlight. And uh, this one's definitely got a really hefty, kind of heavy kind of um, stainless steel enclosure. It feels pretty solid and nice in my hands. And that's, you know, that's a good thing because if you got three LEDs you gotta power, uh, it needs to dissipate all that heat, so the metal's going to absorb the heat and try to dissipate it. Um, this kind of can heat up uh, rather quickly, but this can stay cooler for longer. And so again, you've got three, you've got three diodes. Um, you know, I've tested this quickly with my laser power meter. Uh, you don't want to use a solar power meter because those read falsely high. Um, you know, we can test it quickly and get... 35 milliwatts and then you have to convert that to um, milliwatts per square centimeter um, which usually these these end up being around uh, 40 to 50 uh, milliwatts per centimeter squared so uh, I got to do the conversion later I'll do it in a blog but you know it's not not a massive amount of, of power I did a, a blog earlier about uh, this little guy uh, from LED Supply. I did an Instructables on how to build it and this one will max out all your solar power meters. It'll max out my laser power meters. This one's throwing some real power. So if you're looking for something with a lot of power, uh, go to my Instructables. I'll link it below. Um, but again, you need to plug it in to uh, a DC uh, probably 12 volt source. So that's I've got a low EMF source that I use. Um, so, you know, again, this is a great option. You can see this, you know, take a good look at it. Maybe I'll do a blog post with some better pictures. You see this is being rebranded all over Amazon right now. It's really hot on Amazon, um, but you can get it direct from Kinreen, especially, you know, maybe it's cheaper to buy on Amazon because you get free shipping. But if you want to get a couple of these, give it to friends, have them a couple around your house, uh, might be you might get a price break of getting a couple straight from Alibaba, um, but otherwise you could just get it on, on Amazon. They're all, if, if you look for this, you'll see tons of them on Amazon. It's crazy. Um, next one we'll talk about is this brick from uh, Sadie Light, uh, another one from Alibaba. I'm a big fan of I've been using it for over a year, and um, I emailed them. I said, hey, I want to customize your brick um, and add in the 630 nanometer um, 660 nanometer and 850 and their standard one is uh, only two wavelengths it's uh, 660 and 850 um, but I like adding that third wavelength so um, again it's got good power you know around low 40s milliwatts per centimeter squared out of each kind of uh, spot um, so you know it's, it's got pretty good power and again I just kind of put it right on the skin uh, whatever I'm treating for five to ten minutes per spot and uh, you can get a pretty good dose. Um, this is really handy just to get some bright light while I was in quarantine this year. And, uh, you know, the battery lasts probably uh, up to about an hour. Um, but eventually, the bat you know, these types of batteries, sometimes they kind of diminish over time. Um, but definitely, it's a great affordable option if you get it straight from Sadie Light. There's a lot of companies rebranding this. Just look for kind of this LED pattern that is kind of unique, but you can see a lot of companies rebranding it. Sometimes it's silver, sometimes it's black, sometimes it's red. Um, so you can get a good deal on, on it straight from the supplier. Um, I've had a lot of good experience with them. Um, and this one, this one itself has been working for over a year now, so it's really solid. Um, and now, you know, for my new unit is uh, my Gemba Red Spacer. Uh, kind of a play on, on like a laser. Um, 
and a similar kind of format to the Sadie, but this one does not have the battery built in. Um, so what do you do? It actually accepts 5 volt uh, DC uh, from the side. And so how are you going to charge it? Well, all your you know phone adapters are 5 volt DC, and you can have your um, travel adapters, your power banks, are 5 volt DC. So you could actually run it off of a battery and still get that low EMF, uh, low flicker benefit and just run it straight off of the battery. And you can see I've got three wavelengths again, uh, 660, 630 right here, 850 and it goes, goes in kind of a diagonal. And again, you know, it's really great, super lightweight, use it wherever you want for a couple minutes per spot, move it around and you can get a good benefit. Uh, and it's battery powered you know, uh, super low EMF, no flicker, and it bypasses some of the issues with the units that have it built in, with the battery built in, because, you know, it's going to be kind of hard to replace the battery for these. You might have to send it in, or um, if they even offer that service to swap out the battery, because it's pretty much bolted in. There's nothing you can do. So this bypasses that issue in the future. You can just recharge this, and eventually when this dies, you just get another one. Um, the other great thing is that, you know, I'm pretty lazy and I don't like having to keep recharging the battery. I don't like taking out the battery of these and, uh, recharging it and, you know, putting it on the thing and then recharging it and putting it back in. You know, I'm pretty lazy. I just want stuff that I can just plug in and it works. I'm not worry about batteries and chargers and all these things. Uh, so I did find a super low EMF 5 volts, uh, adapter. And uh, I'll link it below. Um, I tested four different adapters from a supplier called Jamico. And this was the lowest one. Uh, and it performed uh, the best. And so all I have to do is adapt, uh, adapt the power supply here. And we'll get it rolling. So now, you know, my travel light, even though, I, you know, I've got an adapter for it. Uh, still low flicker, low EMF. Um, we can do a quick test for usually the electric field is a problem for, for certain things. But you can see it's still below six, you know, set six or seven. I don't know what you can see. That kind of jumps up when I show it to you. But, but it's, you know, maybe around 20, but, you know, this room is, is kind of have some electric field anyway. So when I look at it, it's only about seven or eight. Up to a 10 so it's it's pretty low uh, so it's really impressive to use an adapter something you can just plug and play on and off no problem and don't have to worry about batteries and it's just good to go you don't have to recharge batteries and all this stuff so you have all these options so this makes the Gemba Red Spacer one of the most versatile options um, to have you can run it off batteries run it off five five volt chargers you can use the recommended charger I use for uh, super low EMF. Um, so definitely it's a great option, but I think any of these are a great option. You got to find what fits your kind of lifestyle. And that's why I collect different lights anyway. I use them all, you know, in different places at different times. Um, so they all come in handy. So definitely, you know, great kind of overview. You can get tactical lights. You can get this from Kinreen or one of their uh, resellers on Amazon. This comes from Sadie or there's a reseller on Amazon too and some resellers uh, elsewhere. And then uh, this one I get from Idea Light and uh, I kind of customized it just for the wavelengths again, similar to this. Customize the wavelengths, customize um, some of the power. Um, and so you can get, get all of these, you know, for different circumstances, low EMF, low flicker, um, super easy to use. So. Hopefully that helps you kind of kind of figure out your portable red light therapy situation uh, and uh, let us know if you have any questions or comments below. Thanks.